All right, future CPA. So I'm here today with one of my newest CPAs from the Ultimate CPA Exam Guide Method. So welcome, Courtney. Thank you for being here. And we're really excited to hear about your story, uh, how you pass a CPA exam, and then how the heck you pass BEC in less than 20 days or 20 days, give or take. Yeah. So I guess to start, maybe fill us in a little bit on your journey. So it sounded like when you started this process, you were still in college and uh, maybe go into a little bit of your planning process of what you did to utilize school to help you pass your first two sections. Yeah, so this, this whole journey was a little bit of a spread out one. Um, I didn't really have a game plan going into it. I just knew I had to start somewhere. Um, after my undergraduate degree, I jumped into an internship for audit, and then I knew I had my 150 to get to, and I kind of planned that around the order of where I was going to do these exams and how long I was going to give myself and what have you. Sure. Something vague, but I started with taking a couple of tax classes to go along with reg, which I perceived as my hardest exam, so I got it out of the way first. Um, I was lucky enough to pass that. It was very intense taking tax classes and studying for a CPA exam, the hardest one, you know, and you don't know where to start, if you're doing it right, whatever. So, so and just, just a quick question here. Yeah. So when you were taking college classes versus mm -hmm. what you were learning from your CPA review course, was there overlap? What Did you feel like your classes actually helped you? Yeah, so both of the classes helped in their own way. But okay. I did realize that it was a little bit of information overload, which yeah. I kind of learned in hindsight after really digging into your program because you just really capitalize on the, the whole short-term memory, keeping it up here, right. instead of expecting that you're really going to internalize it during such a short period of time. So with all that information being taken in, I think I could have done without the classes. Yep. But it did kind of give me like a probably more of a placebo effect of comfort that I was doing all that I could. So did, did you ever run into a situation where you learned something in your CPA review course that didn't make sense and then you were able to talk to your professor about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, definitely. Because one of them was actually, I was lucky enough to have her as a mentor for my undergrad. So. Oh, that's awesome. She did an individual tax class and then I took my uh, corporate, whatever it was called, the upper level tax class for business entities. Okay. Uh, yeah, so they were both vastly different, but both of them open people ready to teach you and was fully aware that more than half the people in the class are already sitting for the exam. That's, that's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah. And, and so just for anyone who's watching who maybe you're not in college or don't have an opportunity to take a tax class, <laughs> You know what most most people do. What Courtney did was it's it's really cool and it's for her situation that definitely worked. But when you're studying for the CPA exam, your CPA review course will teach you exactly what you need to know. So, um, you know, just just because Courtney found success through Reg by having you know some additional resources, mm -hmm. your CPA review course will provide you with what you need to to pass. And they'll, and like Courtney said, it's all about maximizing your short term memory, getting this done, and in a an intense and very focused environment. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So that's really cool though that um, you know having a professor that's that's really nice to have because that is yeah. kind of a free perk. Because typically when you hire a one-on-one -on -one tutor, mm -hmm. they're going to you know charge you about a hundred, hundred twenty-five dollars an hour. Right. So, I mean, technically you paid that through your admission fees into college and all that, but still, it's right. nice to have somebody who's in that information day in and day out and a professor. Yeah. So. Another, cool. Cool, another cool bonus I had that I just got lucky, which when we get to the BEC part, it'll be more relevant, but I was able to use my professor's office. Oh, that's cool. After, after hours, like my mentor let me study in her office because all of the campus buildings are so loud mm -hmm. and I was frustrated and short fused and like burnt out. So I needed dead silence. Yeah. So, that fed into what I'll get to later, I guess. Okay, cool. So you basically passed two sections while you're still mm -hmm. in school. So what happened in between passing your second section and I guess, so in between you, you enrolled in Ultimate CPA Exam Guide mm -hmm. because you felt, or I guess um, I'll, I'll let you explain why you joined uh, our mentorship program. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I 
was just scrolling on Facebook, I believe, one day, and I saw your advertisements of many sorts and just kind of got lost in it immediately because it kind of dreamed out all the things that I know I need as an individual and as a young adult going into just, I'm way in over my head, but I'm doing my best and I know it's possible and um, I appreciate guidance and um, someone helping me lead the way and like keep me accountable and disciplined and, and all, all obviously validated too, which is also another important part of it. So just what you had laid out was super inspiring to think that, oh, okay, I didn't realize this existed. The CPA exam review courses are amazing and we couldn't do it without them. However, there's not a human component to it. Yep. yep. You know. So, yeah, so CPA review courses, the support they provide is very reactive. So what yeah. I try to provide is something that's proactive. So I'll teach you mm -hmm. what questions to ask. I'll teach you how to use your CPA review course, how to manage your time, how to juggle life. Because life happens and, yeah. you know, there's different ways to react to it. So I always try to teach people how to react in a positive way to any obstacle that comes across them. So um, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm really glad that my ads are actually working. It's, it's good to hear yeah. that. Yeah, and, and it's, it's more like they're tailored toward a particular type of person looking for something mm -hmm. that's yeah. going to just help you mo move faster. Sure. Better. Light you a fire under your butt. That's why. I, that's yeah. Why I like to <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So I, I guess if somebody is kind of on the fence about Ultimate CPA Exam Guide, maybe they're like, oh, I'm not sure if this is legit. Like, what, what do you say to the, what do you recommend to those types of folks that are out there who are more skeptical that, about having a mentor? Right. Um, I would definitely say that you need to keep in mind that all of the material that you're providing is just, it's a resource that you can make your own. So if you feel like it's not for you, you can. there's something there that you can make for you. And it will only help. There's nothing you're offering that's going to make things worse for the person. Right. So you're merely here to provide resources and tools. And there's, that's like the most incredible thing. That's intangible, really. So, sure. Wow, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, it... it, it it depends on where the person is in their journey. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, as an individual, they don't need that boost, but the majority of us do. Yep. Yeah, and if the pass rates were more like 90%, then my service wouldn't be needed, but that's just not the case. And mm -hmm. So that's cool. All right. Okay, well, enough about me. Let's talk about BEC and how you pass it in 20 days because this was you were working full-time. Is that correct? I actually luckily finished all of my exams uh, two days before oh, okay. I flew to my training for my job. Okay, so, awesome. So, so yeah, walk, walk us through what that looked like, what you, um, how you were studying. Was yeah. it something that I taught you from my mentorship program, or was this, was this just basically break down exactly what you did, I guess? Yeah, so it's a melting pot of, of emotion and... Uh, <laughs> passage of time and just knowing where I was in that I was about to start a whole new life. Sure. Uh, not to be dramatic, but there was no going back to school. I had to be a grown up now. So I've got a ton of friends that are going through this process or went through it. And I know how miserable it is to, ha well, I would, I can imagine how miserable it would be to have to study and work at the same time. It's not and fun. that. I know not everyone gets the opportunity to do what I did, so everyone's story is different, but I'm very lucky and grateful that I got to take time off and just get it done. So that, that 20 days at the end there, right after I took FAR, because it was reg last year, audit this summer, FAR right after that, and then before I got my FAR score back, I had 22 days till I flew out to training and the last open seat was on was 20 days from that day. So I was like, this is a, a Hail Mary, nothing more yep. for the signing bonus for my job. So I was heavily incentivized by quality of life and paying off a credit card that I had racked up in the last five and a half months from needing a little bit of 
wiggle room there. So I lit a fire under my own ass after you made me the program. <laughs> because you called, you said my name, you looked at my story, you broke it down, and you're like, this is possible. I don't know you, but this is possible. Here's where we can start. Do with this what you will and figure it out. Let me know. It's yep. basically what you're doing. You're giving me a box of resources, and I've got to do things with it. So yeah, the 20 days. What, what I provide is not a shortcut to passing. It's like yeah. no. you do this, and then you're going to pass if yeah. you can do this. It's going to be hard. <laughs> The steps still suck. Yep. So it, as the time passed, I also got more emotional because these exams were so weighing on my personal life. Um, and I just wanted to be a person again because sure. you kind of don't feel like a person after you're just studying in and out, inside, like day in, day out, um, living like a PhD lifestyle, which kudos to you, but I'm not built for that. So the studying all day, every day, it hurts. <laughs> It affects your life. So I was like, anything that I can do to get this over with. That's all. So I was doing the study loops in my own way because I didn't have, well, with FAR, it was like I was picking up in the middle with you um, with that plan. And I took it and ran, um, especially for the review portion. When I got be reviewing and, yep. Yeah, when I was six days out or five days out, and it was just so condensed. I was like, oh, my God, I have to grasp this concept of going back to Chapter 1 when I'm in the middle of Chapter 6, and I'm stressed out, and also I didn't, I didn't know like this. I struggled with this topic, but I still have to go back to Chapter 1 today. You know, it's that reminder of I have to bring it back or else the diligent time I'm spending is being wasted in a week when I'm not going back to it. Yep. Yep. That's, yeah. the, that's the whole philosophy. And that's really the key yeah. to passing because if, if, if you don't look at chapter one, mm -hmm. by the time you get to the final chapter, then you're going to have forgotten everything because short term. memory so is everything. So yeah, it is yeah. so much. Yeah. So, um, I, and just curious, I, I know this will be a question that comes up like how, how many hours per day do you think you were studying on average? Uh, on average, six or seven. Yeah. So it was, it was your full-time job, essentially. Yeah. And, and I wish that I could do a regular eight. I wish I could tell you my average was eight. But in reality, I realize now being at work full-time, though it's not busy season, so ask me in two months and I'll probably have a different answer, but working is easier than studying. Oh, it is. It's, it's not a constant learning curve. You're not constantly having to learn. Well, and there, there's also the, the social aspect. Like this is a, yeah. it's a very lonely. Oh my God. Experience. Like it's, it's no one can understand what you're going through. Yeah. And so, and, and, and I mean, that's why I try to create a community too. And I, I saw that you, you did make yeah. a few, few Facebook posts, but basically yeah. we, we have a community of over 600 CPA candidates who are all going through the same thing. Yep. They've all received the same mentorship from me. They've all mm -hmm. gone through the same training. We all know how to pass the CPA exam and mm -hmm. You know, it, and I'll be the first to admit that there are people in our group that fail. Like it just, it happens. Oh, cool. It's just a statistic. But mm -hmm. when you have a community like that, it's, they're there to hold, pick you up, help yeah. you. And, you know, I, I, I see you liking posts and doing yeah. stuff like that. Just, just even Absolutely. after you've passed the CPA exam, because it's such a cool community and every mm -hmm. score release, we're there to celebrate with you or we're there mm -hmm. to pick you back up. So, mm -hmm. Absolutely. so yeah, that's, that's really cool. And yeah. so just a personal story. I actually lost my first job due to the great recession. And so basically I had about an eight week period where I was, it was my full-time job to oh. study for the CPA exam. Right, so right, right. I didn't do anything quite as extreme as 20 days, but I did pass far in about 47. So you that's know, not, right. yeah, it, it, that's it's just it, as crazy. If it, not worse. Yeah, it can be done. I, I don't recommend mm -hmm. everyone yeah. spend 20 days. If, Hell no. But if if your back is up against the wall, if a mm -hmm. signing bonus is on the line, yeah. just do it. Like it is absolutely worth it. Take time off from work if you can. Like it's it's just so worth it. Just because once you pass a CPA exam, it's going to just give you so much more freedom in your career. You can focus one hundred percent on your career and yeah. you know, if the time comes you need to go to a different direction, do something completely different, CPA yep. is gonna be there yeah. no matter yeah. what happens. So 
So, well, first of all, congratulations, Courtney. This is yeah. just awesome. Thank you for sharing. No, and sure. uh, I, I really hope that Not your story. All day, seriously, I could answer any question. <laughs> it might be too long of an answer. <laughs> no, that'd be awesome. That'd be great. So, so yeah, no, I appreciate you sharing your story. I know you're going to inspire a lot of people. We get a lot of folks who are, you know, in the middle of studying and they just get burned out. And yeah. that's, that's where I try to come in and be like, hey, you should enroll in our program. We can we can definitely give you some new motivation. Yeah. Stuff, so. yeah. Even if you don't give them anything individually, like I was lucky enough to get, there's still so much that you can get from all the content in whatever order. You know, there's a suggestive order. Yep. But also the method of people that like to just pick and choose and skip around and, you know, something will inspire them and something they don't really have use for. Yep, so, exactly. And that Facebook group is incredible. It's, it's, it's really neat because um, I'll never meet these people. Nope, probably not. Well, I'm you never, never know. Accounting's a small world. Yeah, you just never know. know. I wouldn't know. Well, one, of, one of my students, she actually lives 45 minutes away from me, so we got to yeah. do an in-person interview, which was oh it my blew God. my mind. And she she knows people who I almost – or I tried to connect her with some people I knew uh -huh. looking for a job. So it, you just don't know. The accounting is oh. a small world, so it was pretty cool. How cool is that for but, you? you yeah, know? yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's so, so neat. But anyways, That's all right. Well, Courtney, I'll, I'll – I'll, uh, be uh, uh, conscientious, conscientious of your time here and let you go. But thank you again so much for sharing. And we are, I'm excited to see what you can do with your career. So I, I'm, I'm uh, up to my eyeballs in <laughs> material to learn before this next tax season comes around. It is right around the corner. Let me tell you, you'll have some fun with it. All right. I'm here pulled up. Thanks right. so much. Well, enjoy your holiday and we'll uh, hopefully chat soon. Yeah. All Talk right. To you soon. Thanks, Courtney. Of course. Hey, future CPA. Thank you so much for listening in on my amazing interview here. And I hope that you're inspired. I hope you're motivated. And I hope that you are somebody who understands the value of having a CPA exam mentor. And if you're somebody who doesn't have one, if you're struggling with the CPA exam, then you are definitely a good fit to work with me to understand and learn how to pass a CPA exam and learn all those soft skills that the CPA review course companies and college just didn't prepare you for. And so the simplest way to determine if you're a good fit for to work with me is to head over to mycpamentor.com. So basically I've got the page pulled up here on the screen and it's a simple application. Just answer a few questions. Once you uh, submit the application, then we'll provide you with some tailored advice on what we think you need to be doing to improve in your situation. And then if you're a good fit for our mentorship program, we'll let you know. And if you're a good fit, then the next step will be to head over to our informational page. So basically, uh, what is Ultimate CPA Exam Guide? How is this mentorship program going to help you? Is it right for you? And all those nitty gritty details. So basically, at a high level, Ultimate CPA Exam Guide is for brand new and struggling CPA candidates alike. Um, it's going to give you the blueprint to go from hoping that you're doing this right to knowing that you are. And then the way that we do this is through three primary ways. So there's going to be some online training modules. So this is going to be pre-recorded videos that I've put together that will teach you everything I know about passing CPA exam. And so basically this is just a one-time thing. You go through it, understand my philosophies, have the study checklist, the planners, and everything ready to go. And then you can dive into the CPA exam process with confidence, knowing that you're you're doing everything that you need to do. And then on top of that, we also provide some personalized support. So these are snapshot mentorship sessions. So basically this is a very in-depth questionnaire that you fill out. And then based on what you uh, share about your current situation, then I'll put together videos, send them right to you, addressing each and every struggle that you currently have. And then we also have this amazing private community with over a thousand CPA candidates in there. And as you heard from the interview, having a community of CPA candidates who isn't a coworker, who isn't a college roommate, um, it's crucial to your success because you want to have a safe place to go to ask those questions that you might feel dumb for asking, but then we'll have no judgment because everyone's in the same shoes. Um, you'll be guaranteed to be able to find somebody using your CPA review course, somebody who's in your industry and is experiencing exactly what you're going through. So if you're a single mom with kids trying to figure out how to pass this exam, 
there's going to be a group of gals there to help you. If you're a dad working full time with a family and kids and just trying to juggle a bunch of knives essentially, there's going to be a group of those dads as well who are there to support you. So again, having community is crucial. You don't want to do this alone and having a mentor to teach you how to study is going to be crucial to your success. Um, so what kind of guarantees do we have? Well, basically you're going to receive unlimited mentorship support until you pass if you enroll in Ultimate CPA Exam Guide. We also have a 30-day guarantee that we will transform you from a struggling CPA candidate to somebody who is confident in their ability to pass or your money back. So we take your success very seriously and if we don't uh, transform how you're tackling this exam, your mental mindset about this process in the first 30 days, then I don't deserve your money and I want you to ask for a refund. So there's also, again, the moderated study group. So I'm in the study group all day long, answering questions, deleting things that aren't relevant and so forth. So it's a moderated group, which is very unique to the industry. And I also have a crack team of CPA exam experts who are available 24 seven for you. So if this sounds like something that would be very valuable to you, then I strongly urge you to apply over at mycpamentor.com. We'd love to have you in the community. I know we can help you crack the code to pass in the CPA exam.